Hi everybody. Springtime crept up on me again this year. The grass is getting really tall and I thought it would be a good time to bring out the lawnmower or more specifically use the lawnmower. See it's been sitting outside all winter so I can't really bring it out. It was already there. Nonetheless this season I've decided to do a few updates and a few maintenance items on the machine to make it more productive for me and help me along with my mowing chores around the ranch. The first thing I did this season is I seriously, seriously considered changing the engine oil. I was pretty proud of myself for that. The other thing I did was I touched up the blade. See, I mow the grass, but I also mow a lot of rocks and metal fencing and just general trash that's in the yard. So I took the blade into the shop and put the bench grinder on it and now you can see it's nice and sharp. Went ahead and did both sides of it. So it should cut much better with a nice sharp cutting surface. In addition to the newly sharpened blade, I'm also going to clean up all this old grass from underneath the deck. That's better. And I'll go ahead and put this blade back on. It's important to make sure you put it on in the right direction so the cutting edge spins into the grass. Perfect. Now this is a Murray Tallboy mower with a Briggs & Stratton motor. And these modifications that I just talked about, you know, cleaning up the grass over the deck and thinking about changing the oil sharpening the blade. Those really help for it to mow better. In addition to that, a few seasons ago, if you'll recall, I went ahead and enlarged the chute here so the grass wouldn't get stuck. If you're interested in that exciting episode, you can check that out right here. But this year, I started thinking, you know, when I'm mowing, it pretty much wears me out. And at the end of the day, I'm out of breath and huffing and puffing and feel like I just really exerted myself. The mower on the other hand, even at wide open throttle, it just kind of coasts, you know? It just kind of hangs out and, you know, it does its job, but when I'm in a partnership with something, I want to feel like my partner's really pulling its weight. I mean, that's what a partnership is, and I don't think that this mower is really pulling its weight and holding up its end of the bargain in our tasks that we need to complete together. So today I'm going to kind of tweak the carburetor a little bit, uh, take it up a notch so that this will be a willing and able companion for my future mowing prospects. To give you an idea, I'll start up the mower and rev it up as far as it'll go so you can kind of hear what I'm talking about. You'll hear the max power that the mower can produce. So you can hear what I mean. It runs, it does its job, but kind of does the bare minimum, which is not acceptable. So what we're going to do is turn up the maximum governed speed that the mower will attain to kind of pump up the output a little bit. Now the way this engine works is when I move the throttle right here, you can see that over here, that little arm moves on the side of the engine. And contrary to what you might think, that does not directly move the throttle valve in the carburetor. In the spirit of being thorough, I took off the gas tank so you can kind of see what's going on in here with the governor system. And basically, 
there's a fight, and that fight is over the position of the throttle plate, which is controlled right here. This rod right here is connected to the governor on the engine, and basically the faster the engine goes, the more this rod wants to pull the throttle plate this way, which is slow, which is to slow the engine down. Alternatively, this spring wants to pull the throttle plate open, and if I push this, which is connected to the throttle control on the push handle of the mower, it puts more and more tension on the spring, so it kind of counteracts the pressure that's put on this rod by the governor on the other side of the engine here. To put it simply, to make this engine run faster, we need to put more tension on this spring, and that's what we're going to do. So what I'll do is just take my handy needle nose pliers, and I'm going to put just a little bit of a crimp in this spring right here to make it a little bit shorter. And depending on your mower, you might have to improvise on the way that you tighten up the spring, but this is the best way I can figure out on my mower. Okay, now that spring has a nice little dog leg in it. I'll start up the mower and see how she sounds. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, I think I heard a little bit of an improvement. I think it's running a little hotter than it was before. Roll footage of the first test we did. Yeah, it's definitely running faster, but I think I want to tweak it up just a little bit more. Here we are back in the spring compartment, and I think I'm going to hit this thing with a double play right now. First thing I'm going to do is put another little crimp in the spring. Like that, take that up a notch. And I think I'm also going to bend this rod right here ever so slightly. Like this. I'm going to hold it right here and simultaneously give it a little tug back here to kind of stretch things out. Okay, I think I changed the angle of that a little bit. See what I did is I lengthened the rod that goes from right here back to the governor arm on the other side of the motor. I think this was vertical before. Let's look at that. Okay, now look at this. I don't know, you tell me. I don't know if I actually changed this or not, but that little bit of change combined with the increased pressure on that spring I should be able to turn up the heat a little bit now on this mower, so let's try it again. Okay, I'm ready for my second round of tests. This time I'm going to start off with a low speed setting and then gradually bring the RPMs up, just for some suspense. Okay, I think that was definitely better, but still not quite enough. So I'll tweak it one more time, then we'll see what happens. I think we'll call it good, whatever the outcome may be. 
Okay, here's what it looks like after my third and what will be the final adjustment. I went in from the side this time and I bent this rod a little bit more and I shortened up the spring by putting another little crimp in it, as you can see there. So let's fire it up. And we'll start off again at a low speed and kind of creep our way up. Okay, I hope you could even hear a difference. I think you can. Let's listen to the very first clip of when I started. And now from just a moment ago. Yeah, definitely a change in tone right there. And I think the last step is to just see how this thing can clear a rainforest, or in other words, mow my yard. Thanks for watching.